everybody. It's Patty Cash with Magic Cruises and Tours. And I'm here today with Jody Daniluk with Oceana Cruises. Hi, Jody. How are you? Good, good. We're here to just share a little glimpse about our special 35th anniversary at Magic Cruises and Tours. And we created a great experience to share with you, our tremendous past guests for all of these years at Magic. And we hope we can celebrate with you on board Oceana Cruises Riviera. We're so excited. Jody, you were recently on the Riviera. I was, I wanna go back so badly. It was just an amazing experience and I'm excited for you and your group. Yes, we purposely picked the Oceana Cruises Riviera um, because we wanted something that was really top notch and top quality, spacious, not a big crowd, uh, lots of personal service and really ex excellent cuisine along the way. And so we're just gonna take a quick deep dive into this experience that awaits us all uh, in May of 2023. Do you want to tell us about the Riviera, Jody, when you were on board? Or how about we'll take a look at this itinerary? Let's okay. see that. So we selected this with your help uh, about two years ago when it first came out because we wanted something that was affordable. It's a seven day cruise. It's going to some bucket list idyllic destinations um, over in Italy and Greece and Turkey. And um, you can also put it together with pre and post packages. So let's take a quick look at some of these ports of call. We're just gonna start in Rome. We're gonna visit Amalfi, the Positano area, and then Sicily, and then Caplonia in Greece, which is a Greek port, and Crete, and Rhodes, and then Ephesus, which is a major attraction for people to see Cushata Sea and Ephesus there in Turkey, and then end in Athens, Greece. So, I mean, you can see we're going to be busy every day. There's lots to be getting off the ship and exploring and really experiencing the history and the scenic beauty uh, that abounds over there, as well as the local color and flavors that are waiting for us. What I love about this itinerary is in the seven days, you're gobbling up all of these boutique and marquee ports of call so many different flavors of each of these different countries. And look at the amount of time in port, Patty. They're yeah. gonna be able to experience um, so many different, whether they're on their own or with tours or, or both actually. Look at the time that they have. It really is very intensive. Yes, I've already selected my short excursion. So if you're interested yeah. in finding out, I'm happy to share that with you as well. So um, let's take a look at um, the next slide. Again, just to remind people that you can extend your stay and fly over to Rome early. I'm personally going to be going over two days early to experience Rome and get acclimated to the area before getting on the ship. You can do the same thing at the end of the cruise in Athens. There's Oceana packages that are one or two days prior or four day packages that are put together seamlessly of the entire area to really show some highlights and they're fully exported and just wonderfully put together. So we can share those kind of details with you as well to enhance your vacation and, and make it the way you'd like to set that up. But other people are doing another cruise right afterwards. So there's uh, lots of different ways to, to uh, enhance your vacation experience. Now here's the beautiful Riviera. Jody, you wanna tell us a little bit more detail about this gorgeous little ship? Well, we're, we're known for our small, luxurious ships as one of our pillars of distinction. And when you board, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. The service will, will make you feel at home. The crew can't wait to welcome you. Those that have sailed, welcome back. Those that are new to brand, you're, you're going to just have an amazing experience. But we have within this small, luxurious ship, many things to do at night, which Patty will go over later wonderful specialty restaurants, all different types of cuisine that's cooked to order. The suites and staterooms are beautifully appointed and it is just a great way to visit all of these wonderful ports that you're going to be sailing to. I have to say that the feedback we get from Oceana is that the, the staff on board is more like family and our guests oh, look forward to going back again and again and again with the Oceana. Indeed. And don't be surprised if you sail again and they will remember you. That's what happens. Yes, yes. 
definitely a nice little niche cruise line. Uh, the Riviera only carries about 1,200 guests, so we'll have plenty of elbow room on this beautiful <laughs> ship. And as we walk on, the beautiful staircase will be awaiting for us. This kind of gives you the scale. Um, it's so elegant and all the attention to detail. I'm sure you can elaborate on that for us, Jody. Well, what you what you can't hear, but you will, is the quartet that is up in the upper hall playing. Just little background music. You're surrounded by amazing art quality, museum quality art work. Uh, Lalique Glass is in that staircase, uh, just so subtle, and the beautiful Lalique Glass table at the base. Um, but please don't think that it's formal. There's no jackets, ties, there's no gowns. It's country club casual. And oh, you just... That. And you really will appreciate wherever you are um, enjoying, whether it's a cocktail or coffee in the morning, everything is in um, little cozy uh, corners so that you never feel like you are amongst 1200 guests. It's designed to be like a home. We want you to feel like you're in a residence and that is um, by design. I love that feeling that you're mm -hmm. conjuring. And so I, I think it's important to mention, while it is very elegant and luxurious, it is not stuffy whatsoever. Yeah. So we yeah. can kind of come as we are and be comfortable and kind of country club casual uh, Correct. on board the ship. Correct. Nice. nice. So uh, I know there's lots to see and do, but there's lots of wonderful cuisine on board Oceana. Again, that's another one of your stellar pillars uh, that you really built your brand on. And this is a unique uh, venue on board, the Culinary Arts Center, and I thought we could highlight that for a moment. Well, besides all of the wonderful tours that your guests can book in advance, we also have the ability for them to choose a cooking class, which is the first at sea. I highly recommend that you do that and book in advance because it will fill up. It's very popular and, and there's all different types of classes that you can choose from, but you're cooking and you're chopping and you're tasting and you're sipping and and, and you're just enjoying the, the, the culinary team and you're enjoying who you're with and the views of the ocean as you're having the class. Um, it's that's so fun. It is. It, it's just wonderful. It's one of those must do at one point or another. And I, how many times have you been on, on a ship and say, oh, that was delicious. I'd like to know how to make that recipe. And here you go. You can learn. Here you go. Here you go. Don't think that you have to cook your own food on board the Oceana. No, no. Because, um, is the, yes, you're, you're they don't serve themselves anywhere, not even at the Paris Cafe. Everything's cooked to order and you're just pampered. I, I think it's worth mentioning on the Riviera, there's so many choices. It's all about options. The beautiful grand dining room, of course, is the main restaurant on board, but all of the specialty restaurants on board are also included in your fare. And mm -hmm. that would be like um, Toscano, which is a authentic Italian or um, uh, Polo Grill, which is a, a classic steakhouse. There's Red Ginger, which is a favorite for many people. That's one of your most, most popular. Jacques is French. And of course, then the Terrace Cafe and the Waves Grill and room service, uh, it's all included. But um, I know you guys enjoyed uh, pretty much a different restaurant every night, if you'd like. So you had a great experience when you were on the Riviera and your dining. We did. We had all different types of flavors and cuisines, appreciated all of the wonderful touches and presentation, but we even enjoyed um, room service, our in-suite dining. So that was that was very memorable as well. So no matter where you choose to dine, you are going to love it. Yeah, you told me a little secret when you were in uh, Toscano on the authentic Italian restaurant that they even had one individual dedicated to the olive oil that was selected. You choose and your you olive oil, your you choose your vinegar, and... uh, you are given a menu, and then um, and then immediately after that, a basket of all different types of fresh breads and croissants and, and, and different types of, um, of freshly baked crackers are served. And there you are, you can enjoy your selected olive and vinegar and and enjoy the wonderful baked bread. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like to mention those kind of details because this is definitely a cut above. Mm -hmm. um, this is premium, upper premium, luxurious cruising, and cuisine is very much a part of that, along mm -hmm. with the great service and so forth on board. And while we're on board for seven days, we unpack only once, 
uh, we're going to get to enjoy ourselves along the way with lots of activities on board the Riviera from outside venues uh, and paddle tennis and croquet and different things outside to amazing entertainment inside nightly local entertainment often is featured. There's the duty free shopping. There's a beautiful aqua aquamar spa uh, fitness classes and so forth are all included. I mean, you, you know, you can rest and enjoy yourself and do nothing at all, or you can participate in lots of different activities on board. Mm -hmm. Very enjoyable. Look at that. I love the pool area on your ships, Jody. There's never a fight for for deck chairs. Oh no. <laughs> and I must applaud you too. The cushion on the deck chairs is a number one. <laughs> very comfortable, very spacious. Beautiful areas in the sun and in the shade. Lots of little nooks and crannies um, are abounding. So you can find a little cove for yourself and read a good book or sit with friends and enjoy uh, a beverage as you're sailing along the coastline. So when guests leave their, their chairs, our staff comes and covers it with fresh towels, uh, completely covering the change lounge. And, and then our, the guests can um, have as many towels as they want and, and uh, call it their own for a couple of hours, however long they want to stay out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really nice. I, I, I love elbow room on the, on the deck, that's for mm -hmm. sure. So when we put this together, we were really striving to give a great value for our guests to take advantage of, along with the exceptional quality. And so again, Oceana Cruises stands out in this regard with what's always included on your sailings. And Jody, I'm gonna let you just talk quickly about the inclusive amenities that are always on board. Thank you, Patty. Well, if you're one of our past guests, thank you for returning. You already know the value that you're going to receive accustomed to Oceana Cruises. If you're new to brand, what you see in the white, the free internet, the free specialty restaurants, like Patty mentioned, you're not paying for any of our restaurants, whether it's the Grand Dining Room Terrace Cafe or Jacques Pepin's Special Parisian Bistro. It's all included. Your room service 24 hours a day. And while we've had this pause, we've been working very hard behind the scenes to enhance our room service menu by coming up with hot breakfast, hot lunch, and hot dinner items so that you can enjoy your breakfast in your room or suite or stateroom. You can have a selection of burgers for lunch or you can have a wonderful dinner in the evening uh, while you're sailing out of the port. Free shuttles from Port to City Center, free fitness classes. So again, we've got that state-of-the-art fitness center, but we also have classes such as Pilates and yoga. Many of our guests, they want to continue with their wellness because they want to continue to sail with us. Free still and sparkling Vera water, which is replenished every single day in your suite and stateroom. And we give you cylinders that you can take off the ship while you're touring. Free soft drinks that are replenished daily. It, you, you will have a refrigerator in your suite or stateroom and the cabin steward will know what your preferences are on day one and make sure that you never have to ask. And free specialty coffees and teas and baristas and at all of our restaurants, all included. And of course, for, for your convenience, if you wanna pack lighter, we have launderette services on many of our decks, cashless, or you can also use the services on board at a nominal charge. And, and um, but still the key is to pack as, as less as you can and carry on, right, Patty? Well, that's one of the tricks, yeah. But that's a, <laughs> it's a nice service to be able, a lot of our clients do like to have the launderette on board. It's just a convenience uh, to be able to throw those you know, favorite clothes you know, in the washer along the way. And so those are great amenities that are already included. It's not a lot of nickel and diming uh, with the o Oceana. Plus, in addition, um, the airfare is included. We've got airfare from Columbus, Ohio, from wherever you're traveling from. The airport transfers are then included with the Oceana airfare. And you get to choose one of the O-Life choice amenities. And I love this because it allows guests to pick what's the most high priority for them and then how to enhance their own vacation. So you can either have, Jody, why don't you explain that, the short excursions, there's... Yeah, I'll be happy to. And so okay. to Patty's point, every single guest that sails with us, they're, they're different, their expectations are different. 
And, and that's why our um, slogan is your world, your way. We want you to come on board and choose what is best for you, what is suitable for you. So your choices would be one of the three, free shore excursions, free beverage package, or free shipboard credit. I'm going to take a minute to go over each of these with you. The shore excursions would be a choice of our standard shore excursions, and they're in every single port, and there's many to choose from. And they could be a, a, as a start of 69 and as high as 269 per person. So if you choose the shore excursions, you will get four two for guess one and two for guess two. And then on the other days, you can choose the other different types of tours that you want to complement your experience. The free beverage package is basic. It is beer, wine, glasses of champagne for lunch and dinner in the restaurants only. So think about that itinerary. You're in port every single day. It may or may not be the best value for you, but we do have an all-inclusive Prestige Select, which you can purchase on board, and it would be the mimosas in the morning, it would be the scotch at night, it would be the, the wonderful wine and different martinis throughout the day, or free shipboard credit. So this is for stateroom, $400 that you can use towards spa treatments, or um, short excursions or, or, or your beverages. So again, it comes back to what you want to choose. So on our, on our sailing, the seven day cruise, you could get $200 per person shipboard credit. And we can tell you some fancy ways to uh, make that expand into even more value when you call us. Mm -hmm. Plus mm -hmm. on our group guys, we've already taken care of all your prepaid gratuities for the shipboard personnel is taking great care of us throughout the week. And we're gonna have some fun cocktail parties and little get togethers while we're en route together. So lots of inclusions and uh, very competitive pricing on such a great, great cruise experience. Really all you have to do is pick what kind of room you want and uh, we'll take care of the rest of it for you. So we wanted to just show you uh, a couple of the different kinds of accommodations on board. Of course, Oceana has wonderful suites. They have the owner suites and the Oceana suites. Penthouse suites are very popular. Uh, they're about 440, 420 square feet. But, uh, and I know Jody got to experience one of these when her and her husband were on the Riviera most recently. So mm -hmm. she has been pampered with this. Mm -hmm. um, and there's lots of amenities included with the penthouse suites. Did you wanna share a couple of your highlights with us, Jody? Well, the first thing is we wanted to bring our butler home, uh, yeah. but... <laughs> Right, it was just wonderful service, wonderful um, uh, pampering. Uh, they take such great care of you, but 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 you don't have to be taken care of well. Um, uh, it just in an, a penthouse suite, you can you're going to be taken care of regardless of, of what you book. But I just wanted to point out the extra space that's in a penthouse suite. Look at the size of the veranda. Look at the areas where you can sit and read a book or catch up on emails or um, have champagne. Uh, all of our suites and staterooms have the prestige tranquility. Bed, uh, bedding, which is exclusive to Oceana and 1000 um, thread count, which is from Italy, which is so nice. Our co-founders wanted to make sure our guests had the perfect night's sleep after um, gobbling up that port. But look at the table and chairs at the foot of the bed. This is where we had our room service for breakfast every morning while we got ready for our tours. And what you can't see is the walk-in closet, which is so expansive, and then the very spacious bathroom. So that is the penthouse suite. It is, it is just a, a real treat if you want to if you're doing some if you're sailing on a special occasion or or really splurging this this would be a, a, a wonderful accommodation but we have others yeah there's others and then uh the majority of the ship is really designed with the verandas and the regular veranda stateroom and the concierge class veranda which is just a higher level of amenities that will be offered to you um this room is about 282 square feet all of the rooms have the mini refrigerator in them that we talked about, but the, with the concierge class, you also get um, entrance into the concierge lounge on board. You get complimentary access to the Aquamar Spa Terrace, which is typically a $25 per day fee, I believe, um, and some other priority um, reservations with specialty dining and things like that, that our agents can share that with you when you call in to, to talk with us. But, more than more than spacious and wonderful. There's there's different levels of accommodations for different budgets. So there could be other ocean view or interior rooms uh, depending on availability. So you want to ask us about all those details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And then just as we're summing up, just like to share with you that there's a lot of great information on our website at magiccruises.com slash anniversary. There's details on all of the shore excursions. Again, if you'd like to know what I'm planning to do while we're in ports of call, I'm happy to share that with you. There's details on the accommodations and all kinds of other information online there for you. Or simply give us a call at 614-847-5551. Ask for Kate, Marcia, or Patty, and we'll be happy to get you situated. I will just share a little tidbit that if you call within the next two weeks, there might be some extra special benefits to join us on this wonderful, wonderful cruise. So thank you, Jody. We appreciate your time sharing with us and our clients today. And we look forward to welcoming all of our guests on board Oceana Cruises. Thank you, everyone. Hope to see you in May. Bye.